So, um, I just did some sitting down in a yogi pose, yogi sit, and uh, we talked about trunk counter rotation. And it's always confusing. It's always been confusing when, uh, and never really been clarified about counter rotation. It seems to always be related to the legs countering to the pelvis. And, you know, it's like, okay, I'm countering. No, I, I'm thinking there's more to it because the human body being so amazingly pliable, movable, and there's so much we can do with this body. And part of it's because we have these muscles, sheet layers of muscles. You got the, the abdominal, uh, the rectus abdominis, the six pack abs. So that's not the only muscle. It's not just skin over six pack abs. I think I was there at one time. Um, there's abdominal obliques, there's sheet muscles, there's, uh, I mean, the internal abdominis, external abdominis, the transfer, transverse abdominis. Those muscles, they tie in at different points. One set ties in lower, the other set ties in higher, and it gives our trunk the ability to rotate with the pelvis not even moving, okay? And we it ties into the pelvis, the pubic and the ilium and uh I just, I wish I knew all that. I just know how I move, done some anatomy to try to figure it out. So let's, let's talk about, let's look at how it, we can get counter. Okay. So I can take my knees and I can rotate, but I have no counter. I have no, nothing happening in my, hardly at all in my core. But if I take this and I engage and crunch, now I've tied in the trunk and the ability for the trunk to move, okay, or to resist the path of the pelvis. It's almost like a resisting, a winding up so it can release again to the next turn. So you have a pelvis that's tracking around the turn, and then it's tracking. Okay, there's some little turns you can do this and this and this, and it stays straight down. But when you're taught that your pelvis needs to stay straight down, it's just an overkill to try to get you to do something. If you watch any racer, they're coming through the turn. That pelvis is here. They're countered. And then this half of the pelvis takes a track to the inside. And then this half of the pelvis comes out and around so that pelvis is always moving around okay so as the pelvis moves across these bones the let's call it the iliums because that's the big iliac crest the ilium is the big old structure here on each side that's attached to uh the sacrum this little joint and Oh, well, so it's this whole carriage. Okay, so it's moving around. And what we can do with our trunk is we can resist, resist, resist. And when those are done, boom, we can unwind, extend, grip the other way, and pull and pull and resist with the trunk muscles. Resist, resist, resist. And then, boom, we can unwind and move through the other one, okay? So that's counter rotation. It's not just the femurs that are guiding this pelvis and upper body through the turn, okay? The femurs guide it. They drive the ilium around by steering the femurs, steering, steering, steering. And the counter is really not the femurs, even though they're turning counter to the pelvis, yes. Okay, but that's to pull this around, the pelvis around the turn. The counter is how we grip, grip the upper body to keep it level, okay, by our lateral ability to crunch the abdominal obliques, the TA, transverse abdominis, okay, and the ability to stay forward and balanced, and the ability to laterally rotate. It's all in the trunk. Boy, I talked like that was some big secret. I'm kind of learning things as I go. Give it some thought. Uh, it might change your whole perspective on 
counter rotation. All right, let's talk about it and play with it on skis. All right, peace. <laughs>